Hi, right, this is John again. Um, I got my new power supply in. It's a beast of a power supply. I love it. There's just another issue. It's going to involve more case modding because it doesn't fit the hole in the back. So I'm going to have to take a hacksaw and carve on the side a little bit over here. As you can see, the the hole isn't big enough. So um, once I get that done. I have another video posted. Other than that, everything works flawlessly. All the drives powered up when I hit it, and it's looking good. Uh, until later, bye. All right, the necessary case mod was made. I had to basically take a hacksaw and cut straight across, and then uh, cover back on. It looks pretty decent. Um, here's the power supply mounted and hooked to everything. I, I need to do just a little bit of work to the cable management, to make it look a little bit better. Basically, it's a pretty decent looking setup. Uh, you can tell it's got a 120 millimeter fan, and uh, frankly, the loudest fan on this thing is this one right here. Everything else is pretty darn quiet, and I don't even have a cover on it. Um, it's, earlier, it was being drowned out by my air conditioner, so I'm really happy with the result. And um, here it is, blinking. I don't have a. I don't have a. OS installed right now. No, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Vista on it because XP is broken by TiVo desktop software and I own a TiVo. And Windows 7 the software actually doesn't function properly. So I'm I'm gonna be using Vista. It's a good medium. I can get digital channels and stuff in it. Although Windows 7 picks up more channels for some reason. I'm not sure why. Something I have to look into. It might be a patch or something for that. But I get like 14.1.2.3. Anyway, there you go. Next one will uh, detail the OS install.